I want to I want to hear what God's doing. So come to the front. I think I saw about five, six, seven, eight hands. Yeah, come come to the front right up here. And I want to take some time. Go ahead and grab a seat real quick. I have not been in this in years. Okay, hold on. Don't share. I want everybody to hear this. We have an excited one. If you want to keep praying, please do. But the rest of you, grab a seat. Okay, tell us what happened. I don't know. What, I was healed. I can run. I've not been able to run in so many years. And I'm like, I've had enough. I took that, I took that thing. It's like, God, thank you for the healing. Amen. There she goes. That's <laughs> awesome. Yes. How many years did you say? Did you say how many years? Five years. Nine. Nine. Nine years. That is awesome. Yeah, God. Okay, right here. Tell us what happened. Uh, vision just cleared up. I, what I what it took me to, to stretch my hands out this far to read. I can now read about right here. That's awesome. That's awesome. Couldn't read? Couldn't read. Couldn't read. And how, how long have you had that condition? Is that right? Two years. Yeah, hey God, I love this stuff. Okay, right here. Um, I had rotator cup pain, and the first time around, the pain went away. The second time around, when I reach out now, it doesn't feel as loose. So I'm excited to see what the report will say. Come on. Good. Is there something you couldn't do before? Um, well, yeah, I, I had a little bit more mobility, but it was the pain that was actually causing the discomfort, and that went away, so. Come on. Good. Great God. That's good. Okay. Right here. Talk what happened. Um, all right. Uh, back in, I think it was probably a little bit before January, I got jumped and almost killed. Um, I had something called hydrocephalus back when I was a baby, and that was something that was supposed to kill me because it's too much fluid in the brain and it made my brain bigger than usual. And recently when I got jumped, they said the fluid came back, but now I don't feel anything at all. And I've been struggling with smoking. I don't have the urge to smoke right now. I don't want to smoke at all. Wow. Come on. That's amazing. Oh, praise God. All right. Are we ready right here? No, okay. How about right here? Oh, okay. Uh, last Wednesday, uh, I went to the hospital and uh, I thought I, they thought I had a stroke and it was Bell palsy and I couldn't uh, even talk and couldn't even feel my tongue, blink my eye on this on the right side, and uh, just got some prayer tonight and I can blink my eye. Woo, I got no, I got no numbness anymore, and uh, I can feel everything in my tongue, my mouth, and. Uh, about a, about, a, about a month ago, Eric Johnson was talking about uh, a small bone in the arm, and I only had like, I was like this, and he, and he called it out and everything, and my arm went straightened out. Yay, God. And I, I broke it in two spots, and when I broke it, I broke it 30% this way. So I'm, I'm healed. Praise God. Come on. He couldn't blink his couldn't eye. Couldn't blink. His tongue was numb and it's back. Was it a belt palsy? That was, yeah. Yeah, is there anybody, I, I saw the wind on that one. Is there anybody that had that condition or a history of that condition? Uh, you need to take that miracle for yourself. I, saw the, I, saw, I felt wind on that one. We talked about feeling wind. I felt the wind on that one, Chris. All uh, right, next. If you weren't right, here this morning, I'm sorry. Right here. All right, see you. I've dislocated my back several times and my shoulders, and this is just a total God thing because I felt him move all over my back, and I, I heard like a crack up the spine, like he was moving all up and down. I mean, it was amazing. Thank you, God. It was awesome. I can't even describe how amazing you I've been in so much pain most of my life, and now it's gone. Yeah! Thank you, Lord. Wow. Come on. Right you couldn't do that before. Nope. 
Now I can. Now I can. Do it again. Praise Let's see God. that, man. That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> My eyesight is halfway better. Oh. Oh. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, we got one right here. Yeah. In 2010, I had to have my hip replaced, and I have not been able to go like that because it just falls out. There's a whole fake hip in there, and I'm going like that and jumping up and down during worship, and my foot is hot, it's not cold, and I just feel like everything's different in there. Yeah. It's completely different. Come on. And I just know it's better. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, I love it. Yeah, right here. Did it ever get old? No, it <laughs> never gets old. All right, what happened? Um, Adam came, saw me across the room and came up to me, pointing at the shoulder. Um, I have calcium buildup in the, the right uh, shoulder, and uh, we're scheduling sur surgery. He prayed for me twice, and I tell you, an hour ago, I could not do this. Woo. I am able to... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I have pain, but it's nothing like it was an hour ago, so. Yeah. yeah. Just complete it, Lord. Come on. Some more. Yeah, come on down. Uh, I had cataract surgery in 2010, so they replaced this left eye with a fake lens, and it's not supposed to be able to, for those of you who, who know what that is, it's not supposed to be able to contract, and, and not supposed to be able to see stuff up close. That's why I have these glasses. And, and I can actually see it, so. <laughs> Thank you, God. Come on. That's awesome. That's awesome, yeah. That's amazing. I love it. I uh, uh, work with software all day long, um, and for weeks and weeks I've been having excruciating pain in the nerves coming down both sides of my legs. And um, I was just back there and he started praying for me, uh, the guy next to me, and uh, it literally felt like a switch got flipped and the nerves just relaxed and the pain just went away. And I couldn't stand back there and not say it. That's amazing. That's it. That's it's awesome. Gone. It's gone. It's gone. Uh, just something you couldn't do before? No, I had mobility, but it was just constant pain, especially when I lie down and go to bed, but it literally was just like a switch got flipped and it's gone. Come on, man. Wow. You can't sleep good tonight. Thank you, Jesus. I had to wear glasses years on in, and I couldn't be able to see like the clock, but now I can see it. It's more clear than it has been. That's awesome. Praise God. I can see much better. They just prayed for me, and um, I have a major breakthrough. I can. You're all like crystal clear. Would before when I took my glasses off, it'd be blurry. So that's awesome. Yeah. Praise God. Well, I'm nervous. Okay, so um, God gave me some really cool emotional breakthrough, which then all of a sudden allowed the healing I've been praying for for years to come, and that was with circulation and nerve issues, and then my knee and my ankle, and all of a sudden, like, the Lord just started physically moving my knee back into place, and just my right ankle now? back into place. Yeah, it was totally right? wild. It was just totally wild. And I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I'm still tripping out, but <laughs> yeah, I can do it. Yeah. Could you do that before? Yes, but it was my knee was all the way over here, wow. and now it's over here where it should be. Is that right? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, God, right here. God made some adjustments. Okay. That's about, awesome. about a year about a year ago, I came um, here to, almost to the day. And um, I was sitting over there, and my wife was like, oh, I think that's uh, Chris Valentin. And I'm like, who's Chris Valentin? <laughs> right? And she's like, oh, he's a prophet. So I'm like, oh, okay, great. Okay, I have really no idea what it was, who he, I mean, what a prophet was. So I came on up. I was drug addicted ever since I was 16 years old with alcohol, always battling off and on with, with alcohol, drugs, um, with pornography. And um, he came up and... I, three weeks later, I found out it was like I was watching prophetic culture on KV Ministries when, when Samuel encountered Saul, and he told 
He told him to go to the mountain, and there's going to be prophets coming to that mountain. And when you encounter those prophets, you're going to prophesy with the prophets. You're going to be changed into another man. And I, and I didn't know what happened to me, but I realized three weeks later, I was totally, I, he called out the gold that was in the field, you know, and I was totally released of everything. Wow. And to this day, I've just been totally free. Thank God. And thank you. Wow. About one year ago today. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. Come on. He said one year ago today. Is that right? One year. Praise God. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you, Tom. Um, who, hand, who handed me the phone here? And this is the first one? Okay. Uh, about the dead raising. I read you the second one this month. This is the first one. This is... This is, um, I'll just read it. Still amazed at the testimony of the 84-year-old man who was raised from the dead <laughs> by one of, our, one of our students. It echoed in my spirit all night. I dreamt about the church and wondered if they will be able to make the connection of what happened and what it all mean. mean. A comment made to the student by one of the congregants. How did you know God wanted you to pray him back to life? He's 84. Maybe it was his time to go. After all, heaven is a better place than this. The student replied, this is awesome. <laughs> well, if it were his time to go, God shouldn't have let him die right in front of me. <laughs> totally. Because God knows me and knows that if something like this happened in front of me, I'm going to pray. That's awesome. Thank you.